Hello amigos, Raven here, and on this guide I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a full graceful set in the fastest way possible. So, the graceful set is a set that contains a head, a cape, a body, plate legs, not plate legs, but graceful legs, gloves, and boots. Once you get all the pieces together and you wear them, you're gonna get like a secret passive, a hidden passive that you can actually see, uh, that is regaining, re regenerating 30% more ran energy when you're not moving, so it's quite good for quests. Well, uh, the set itself, you might be wondering, it has no uh, requirements. But in order to actually get it, you're going to be needing a certain agility level. And you might need a quest, which is Prison Peril. You might need to unlock it. You're not forced to unlock it, but I totally recommend you to unlock it because it's actually locking a, a rooftop that is going to be really crucial for, for you to get the crystal set as fast as possible in the lowest level possible as well. So in order to get the Graceful set, you're going to be needing some Marks of Grace. And you can collect these Marks of Grace by doing the agility on the agility rooftops that are actually located all around RuneScape. And I'm going to be showing you guys. So the first one is actually here, a Draenor, like west of... I'm going to show you the map. So here's the Draenor, this is the start, and here's Lumbridge. So it's just west of Lumbridge. You go all around outside the castle you can go behind the castle if you feel like you take all the west take this little route over here and here you are so you're gonna be needing at least 10 agility levels to complete uh, this agility course you can do it to level 20 and on level 20 you're gonna change the rooftop so at level 20 you're going to be changing to the Alcarid Agility Rooftop. You start over here on this rogue wall, and it's just located at the right side of Lumbridge. This Lumbridge, you pass the gate, and here you are at Alcarid. This is where you start. You're going to be doing this agility course from 20 to 30, um, and you're going to be collecting. I didn't say before, but on the level 10 agility course, you're going to be getting for like maybe 15 uh, marks of grace, and on this one, you'll probably get around the same amount probably 15 to 20. So once you're level 30, you're going to be changing agility course. So from 30, we are at Varrock. And from level 30 to level 40, you're going to be doing the Varrock agility course. Here's Varrock, you can just simply use a teleport over there, or you can just come a bit. Let me show you the map. It's just north of Lumbridge. You take, you take the bridge, you go north, you take this route over here, you come around, or you go on this side, here or left. You take the same route after, and here you are, Varrock. It's just behind the general store, as you can see. So, this is where you climb and you start the rooftop. You're going to be staying here from level 30 to 40, and at 40, you're going to change agility course again. So, from level 40, you're going to be staying at Canifus, just here, the right side of Varrock. Uh, unfortunately, you can't just come here uh, without any accomplishments. You're going to be needing to complete recent Peril quests, which uh, gives you access to the Canifus area, all this, uh, all this part of the map over here. You can start the quest, the quest by knocking at this door over here. So how you get to Canifus? You just come all the way on the right side of Varrock. You at Varrock, you go to the right side. You go a bit north. You take the route. You keep going. Just follow the route, and you go. And s if you do the quest, you'll understand. There's a little dungeon over here. You go inside, and you end up getting exited just here so once you cross it you can just go inside the city of Canifus uh, if you already have the quest complete you can buy a Canifus teleport as well or you can uh, if you have the fairy tale part 2 you can you can just come here with a, with a fairy ring that is just located here so now that you have all your marks of grace collected you're going to be needing to to buy the, the graceful set so the fastest way to get there, I'd recommend you guys to get a game necklace. You rub it and you take the first option, Birth Hope. Once you're on Birth Hope, you take the way south and you enter this bar over here. Once inside, you see a trap door over there and you go enter. This is where the Rogue's End is located. At the Rogue's End, you're going to be needing to find an NPC called Grace that is just at the south of the room. So you just trade him and here it is. So if you guys have any questions, 
any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments. This was the full graceful set guide. Bye, amigos.